Hello, here we are again. And today we're talking about a subject that uh, is so popular in the news. Um, it's, it has become, I guess, one of the latest fads. If you notice that uh, these things come and go, and right now you talk to people and they say, oh, apple cider vinegar, it does this, it does that, it does this, it does that. And this is just the newest, most wonderful thing. Well, Paul Bragg first did the research on the benefits of apple cider vinegar, and that was more than 40 years ago. Uh, so it's not new at all. What's new is the marketing hype that goes along with it. And unfortunately, when the marketing people get a hold of a, perhaps even a genuinely beneficial uh, substance or supplement or nutrient, uh, by the time they get through with it, they've made a three ring circus out of it. And it's hardly believable by anybody any longer. So today uh, I want to talk about the benefits of apple cider vinegar. And uh, you'll quickly be able to see on your own why um, all of these claims are pretty much unsubstantiated. First of all, apple cider vinegar and any vinegar at all is acidic, highly acidic. Most vinegars are at about 4.5 pH, which is very, very acidic. In fact, it's about the same acid level as your stomach if your stomach is healthy. So when you consume apple cider vinegar or any vinegar, you're going to increase the acid of your stomach. This has extremely beneficial for digestion because proteins from your food digest only in an acid environment of the stomach. And for many of us, the natural ability for the stomach to produce gastric acids for protein digestion has become greatly diminished. And unfortunately, this has caused a great many issues with, uh, with our health. For example, gas, bloating, indigestion, feelings of fullness, heartburn, and even acid reflux are 99.9% .9 of the time caused by a lack of stomach acid. And when your stomach acid is depleted, food sits in the stomach for an inordinately long period of time, at which point it begins to ferment and form gases and the process is underway. Taking apple cider vinegar uh, will help greatly in ensuring that you have an acidified stomach that you need for not only protein uh, digestion, but fat emulsification, as well as uh, preparing the later digestive processes for addressing carbohydrates as well. Now that you know what apple cider vinegar does, let's take a look at what it might benefit. For example, in order for your body to assimilate and absorb major minerals like calcium and magnesium and others, you have to have a highly acidic stomach because those minerals must be acidified before they can be absorbed at the cellular level. So if we were to say apple cider vinegar helps to prevent bone loss and osteoporosis, we would be correct because the acidification of the minerals is what's going to enhance their absorption and transport back to the bone tissue. This can be enhanced, of course, by also supplementing trace minerals like boron, manganese, copper, zinc, and even strontium hydrochloride. All of these trace minerals are essential for transport of calcium back to the bone. But the original initial process starts with the acidification of the stomach. What else might benefit uh, from a, an acidified environment in the stomach? Um, you, you, the way you appear. Uh, collagen protein is the first protein to be sacrificed when you have virtually no stomach acid. And when that occurs, then you begin to age prematurely. You start to lose skin tone. Uh, things start to get flabby and hang. And uh, pretty soon you look 10 years older than you should. 
And there's absolutely, of course, uh, a, a simple way to prevent that, and that's to make sure that proteins are being properly broken down into amino acids and then subsequently uh, are able to be absorbed via the bloodstream. Now let's look at some of the crazy nonsense that's out there from the uh, marketers. Uh, I have seen that, oh, uh, apple cider vinegar is, prevents cancer, cures cancer. Uh, apple cider vinegar uh, cures arthritis. Uh, apple cider vinegar makes you walk on water, uh, helps your sleep. Uh, all these various other things, uh, and there's just no basis of fact uh, to most of them. Uh, with regard to arthritis, I suppose you could say that um, since glucosamine and chondroitin sulfates are, are basically protein structures, I guess you could theoretically say uh, that a better absorption of those nutrients, if you took them in supplement form, uh, would be helpful. However, um, recent scientific studies have shown that glucosamine sulfate actually is better absorbed in an alkaline environment. So all of these things when it comes to human biochemistry are not just cut and dried. And you have to be extremely careful uh, when it comes to uh, gleaning information off of the internet because the internet is just uh, loaded with marketing opportunists who will do anything to sell a product, uh, including blatantly lie about it. And this is sad because apple cider vinegar is an ancient, uh, age-old remedy for digestive disturbances. And today we use antacids and destroy all the acid in the stomach, helping to ensure that we will age prematurely, we will be calcium and other mineral deficient, we will experience bone loss, and we'll have increased fatigue. That's what antacids do for you. And you'd be far better off to use a little apple cider vinegar, especially with a meal that contains high amounts of protein. We can also take this one step further uh, because the use of apple cider vinegar, again, or any vinegar, uh, it doesn't matter which, um, while it acidifies the stomach, the period of time for which that lasts is very finite. It's a very short period. And so oftentimes people have to consume apple cider vinegar several times a day to uh, keep the digestive process going. Uh, nutritional science has taken this one step further and actually uh, benefited this by creating another acid that is stimulating to the stomach wall, and that is betaine hydrochloride. When you introduce hydrochloric acid into the stomach, it actually stimulates the production of gastric acid through the stomach wall. And this has a much longer lasting effect. And while we're at it, we can also add the precursors such as uh, papain, pepsin, and ox bile for the uh, uh, digestion of carbohydrates and the emulsification of fats. And we can roll all this into one formula. And the one that we made at our research institute uh, is available, of course, through Phoenix Nutritionals. And you can reach them at uh, phoenixnutritionals.com. And uh, we have taken that formula with people with even moderate to fairly severe acid reflux and heartburn and have completely eliminated their symptoms within three to five days. It is one of the few dietary supplements that actually works quickly. And uh, because of that reason, you can see results and benefits very, very fast. Anyway, that is the story of apple cider vinegar. And of course, you can use any vinegar. The reason why apple cider vinegar is being touted as better than anything else is because it's better tasting and it's gentler on the system. Uh, some of the other vinegars uh, can be much more harsh uh, and perhaps even irritating uh, to consume. But any vinegar at a, at a pH of about 4.5, which is highly acidic, will give you the same initial and temporary benefit. And anything within the body that requires the absorption of proteins and the absorption of major minerals will be improved by acidifying your stomach in some manner. This is Dr. Whiting. Hopefully you found this informative. 
And uh, uh, for those of you who were on last week, uh, I apologize for not covering this subject, but uh, that was our first run and uh, there was some uh, uh, other operational issues, let's say, with, uh, uh, with, with myself and the equipment. But I think we've got it now. Uh, so if you have any questions about this subject, about digestion, or anything else related to nutrition and wellness, you can always reach my office at askthedoc, A-S-K-T-H-E-D-O-C, askthedoc at healthyinformation.com. Have a great day, and we will announce our next webinar upcoming very shortly.